Hi everyone, welcome back to another Across the Obelisk video. Um, today I'm doing something a bit different, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, so we're running Madness 16 still, but uh, we have a comp that uh, somebody else came up with. Um, I normally just run stuff that uh, I've been sort of uh, thinking about or theory crafting and then... Um, uh, but this this comp was uh, so cool and uh, that I that I had to give it a try. So um, Seal um, posted on the Discord. Seal is another content creator for Across the Obelisk. They run a lot of uh, Madness 10 Obelisk Challenge mode. Um, they have the world record of uh, um, like wins in a row, something like 23 or 24. It's pretty crazy. They're very good at the game. Um, but they uh, came back and uh, did uh, tried some Madness 16. Um, and in the run that they explained on the Discord, um, he was using uh, Zek as the frontliner, which is hilarious and amazing. Um, and using Bree as a damage dealer and uh, Wilbur also. One of the cool things about the run is they all dealt pretty close to the same damage, around 30k each. And that's, uh, that's really awesome. I love runs where sort of everyone is sharing in the damage. Um, and the way to do that is to, by getting a few of these uh, items. So Bree will be picking up Icebreaker, which whenever then she applies crack, um, it will then deal some chill, cold damage along with applying some chill. And uh, that's pretty sweet. And then Wilbur will be picking up Freezing Ink, which is just a crazy item. Uh, basically three times per turn for free. I mean, you're playing books anyway on him. Um, you do have to sort of build your decks a little bit around it, but to like make sure you have enough books to proc it and everything. But uh, it's amazing when you when you have it set up. Um, he just gets to deal a ton of damage and <laughs> apply a bunch of wet and chill. Um, all of the wet that we apply is then increasing the damage that this deals to everyone. And so you're getting hits for like 40 or 50 on people when you just play a single book, which is wild it is so good um and so um freezing ink is amazing um the other item that we'll get in this same place where we get the hammer um it are these uh oh, let's see bless um the paladin gauntlets for otis um so that's uh, whenever he applies uh courage then it will uh um apply bless which that'll help a lot with um otis's healing um and our damage in the late game. So Otis like isn't the best like single target healer, and especially with how I have him set up right now. He's not going to be doing much of that. And so having this or something like this to help increase our heal healing done is going to be great. Um, so that's all in Act Two. Um, let's uh, take a look at how we're going to get through Act One. Um, oh yeah, and I guess I'll really quick before I go any further, let's talk about the the perks I I went with. Um, so we have um, chill reduces uh, enemies blunt resist, which is cool with uh, to help breeze damage. We have wet increases um, the cold damage taken by one per charge, definitely needed. Um, I have inspire on everyone. I think that's a pretty good value. We also have Zek with uh, um, dark exploding at 38 charges, um, which um, he's going to take dark feast, which in, um, is uh, this set up so at the start of your turn for every eight dark you have reduce the cost of the cards in your hand by one until they're discarded and so with dark feast you just get uh like if you have 16 dark on you everything's reduced by two and at that point you can like you can just play whatever you want which is amazing right um and uh so that will be how we alleviate his energy issues and uh and that kind of thing so um he also has just a bunch of the physical resist perks I don't know that we need all these, um, but we are bringing them, and uh, it has. There are definitely rounds. In, I've done a couple of these runs. One that I was recording and lost extremely stupidly in Act Two by like not saving enough money for the beggars, so I just like walked outside and couldn't get to the shop. So that I'll, we'll talk about that once we get to um, Act Two. Um, but uh, it was a it was a stupid way to lose. It was actually a very good run, um, and uh, I'll, I can actually show you really quick. Uh, this will save. So it's this one. 
So look at these, look at this, look at this run. So we have a, this is like sort of where we want to get. Like cold snap, some icicle, ice barrages, um, ice barriers, frost nova. The equipment is pretty great. We have reinforced armor corrupted. We have cooling servos that were corrupted, which was amazing. Cooling servos being corrupted is sick. Um, Otis had like a round shield and a ruby amulet. Um, Wilbur had just some random stuff and um, some random stuff here. But I spent 38 more gold than I should have. I bought Wolfie at the end. Just like, oh, well, I have a bunch of gold. I'll buy Wolfie. I wasn't paying attention to how close it was to 200. So this... I, like, I don't know if the Wounded Thief can tell you how to get in here. Maybe. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll come. I might come back to this, see if I can make this work without going to the shop. I don't know. But this is the run we're playing right now. Um, and let me show you sort of the setup. So um, to start out, we are going to be buying um, Chumpy for the downpour. Um, obviously, Rain is an insane damage buff for what we're doing like we're doing almost all cold damage to start off and so every other turn we add three damage to everyone more because he gets a wet charge um and so that's just super valuable um in ramping our damage and then orby for otis um to let him he's he's our only healer so keeping us he's only basically the only person keeping us at all, at all alive um zek has a little bit of defense stuff but not tons um, the other thing I'm doing a little bit different, I couldn't get the shards to work exactly how I wanted to, and so I'm going to do two fast divinations, mainly just for shards. I'm looking for cards I would have taken already, or um, and then so that it's a little bit cheaper. So like this, I would have taken an Ice Lance, and so this saves me 24 shards. Um, I'm not going to take any of these. I don't... Th the change weapon might be good at some point, but I don't think I want it right now. Um... Well, that actually, it is a skill. I'm, I am going to take this right now because uh, just the fact that I want um, Vree's deck to be very uh, have a very high skill, um, a very high density of skills, so that uh, she can use her ability at the at the Yelmer fight, the first boss fight. Um, so let's do that. Um, I won't take this. I will take an Ice Lance, and I will take a Helping Hand. Those are very good. Um, I will take a barrier too. That's something I'm going to buy anyway. So, okay. So that was a pretty effective uh, two of those. Now, um, you'll want to look at the cards that... These are the decks that I normally build, just baseline. I don't have enough shards for all of them immediately. So if you find any of the cards on these lists, but then there are other ones that you can also take, um, like the... Um, Things like change weapons or something. Just so you, if you, I'll, I'll try to hopefully explain what my goals are with these decks, and then you can find the cards that then fit for you with the with those. Um, but uh, yeah, so for Zek, we have some elemental wards just to help with some of the damage in Act One. There's some certain fights where these are pretty valuable, and they just burn out of the deck, so that's fine. Um, we have some ice lances that stay in the deck. I think these are these are fine. Uh, they're just good damage, like they're. Uh, good damage once we have a bunch of rain out and um, good, like a nice way to apply it slow. We have an Icy Veins, um, which is uh, perfect. And then we have two rains, the blue version, that applies four wet to all uh, monsters. Just to increase their damage as much as possible. Um, the Dark Rituals are great. They're very good. Um, like you have turns where you'll have these and uh, it's really nice to then just be able to toss some extra energy to Wilbur or yourself for the next turn, depending on who, who has what. Um, you have some icicles to help stack up chill on ourselves, uh, along with the um, icy veins, and then frost nova to take advantage of that chill, along with ice barrier to take advantage of the chill. Um, so that's our main goal with Zek. Um, now there's one thing we could do um, if we wanted. We could add another ice lance and remove this black death. The black death is actually fairly bad. Um, we don't have any dark, extra dark damage. Um, it actually makes a pretty big difference um, in how much damage this deals, having those dark damage um, set up. So um, this is actually not the best card in this iteration of Zek. And I'm, we're, we're very rarely proccing dark. Like, I think I proc dark, like, once or twice in that other run. Um, so I that's probably not going to stay in. 
Um, I will probably just buy or get another Ice Lance, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, all my decks watch Seal. Awesome content. Cool dude. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description to his stream um, for you guys. And um, yeah, so this is the um, Otis deck. So this will be a little bit cheaper since we did start with a barrier. Um, so let's uh, build this. Um, we get uh, the... Dispel magic and uh, some infuse courage, some rains to help with the damage once again, and uh, yeah, it's just pretty simple stuff. I, this is a very similar build to what I normally do. Um, and then, did I get anything here on Wilbur? I did. I got a nice lance. So I'm actually gonna swap this over to this other version, really quick, just so I think it. I think it probably would just switch it, but I'm not. I, I'm not 100 sure. So let's craft this. Um, it's a little bit cheaper since we have the upgraded Ice Lance. Once again, another upgraded Ice Lance. I may um, swap that out with the Zap. I'm not sure exactly. Um, we have an upgraded Helping Hand here. Um, let's see. So we don't want to use this since it's going to, like, we... we um, we want to keep our helping hand, so I'll just do this custom. Um, one thing, yeah, about Bree's deck is we do want a lot of skills in the deck, um, and we want that so that she can use her ability in the at the first boss fight um, to um, uh, get rid of the guardians, the the two adds in the fight. Um, and uh, if we are able to do that, it makes that fight just much easier, much cleaner. And so I think it's so worth it to sort of um, bring down the number of cards in the deck so that that uh, fits a little bit better. Okay, so we have a War Paint in here, getting rid of this last Invigorating Blow. That means that the only non-skills in the deck are these three Pommels. Um, and uh, that ends up being, I think, good enough. We have like an 80% chance uh, right now to do it um, to, to get that option and then it, if we get any skills along the way in act one which we probably will um, that uh, chance will go up so um, so that's the the base sort of the decks as they stand right now um, I think this version right now is better later in the run the insane version I think is better I like in the last couple of fights since there's um, a lot of insane that gets put out put out but uh, for now, the shackle, removing the shackle is better. Um, okay, so we have the option of adding a, an Ice Lance to one of these decks. Um, or an upgraded Ice Lance. Um, I think I will add it to Zex. Um, just uh, the fact that uh, this Black Death is like fairly sad when I've used it before makes me want to, uh, to toss another one of these in here. Um, let me make sure, just run through, make sure I have everything set up how I like it, and, uh, yeah, I think this is good. Um, a lot of the time I would be upgrading this Piercing Howl, but really the most, the thing I'm wanting from it the most is the slow, so, um, I don't technically need that upgrade right now. Just check in here just to make sure there aren't any items that are amazing that we want and nothing really pops out, so let's get going. Um... And uh, you'll sort of see how this uh, how this setup uh, goes after a fight or two. Ooh, an upgraded torch. Um, okay, well, let's. I'm gonna quick look at the fights here just to make sure there isn't anything crazy. Um, we won't be going here because we're going up to the apprentice. So none of the fights seem super hard. We can't see the ones in the hatch, obviously, but none of the fights are immune to wet. None of the fights are immune to chill. Those are the two things we really care about right now. There's one fight that's immune to blunt or to crack, but that's that's fine. Um, okay, so let's battle shout, and uh, I usually will give any helping hands to Wilbur the, at the beginning of a fight. Um, one of the things that... Uh, we want from like Wilbur has a has the shifting scroll and twin scrolls and it's really nice to be able to twin scrolls a shatter um or even just like a frost nova um and so getting to that is nice um okay let's shifting scrolls because we can grab a rain and then let's drop one of these zaps 
Um, one thing about Shatter is that it just deals like a pretty decent amount of damage by itself, right? Like it, it hits twice and both sides get bonuses from the wet. And so even though like no, none of these enemies have any chill on them, um, the Shatter is still going to deal like a pretty decent chunk of damage. Um, and so I am going to use it here just for that initial hit of damage. Um, um, I think I will try to take out this guy. I'm not quite there. Um... Okay, get a nice heal there. Um, let's try to heal Wilbur back up a little bit. And then give Zek some extra block, since he's going to be the one taking the brunt of the damage here. A lot of these enemies that hit the front line, including uh, this uh, Pumba. Okay, so standard bearer, and now the howl, and we then get to pummel this uh, Pumba. And you see the wet there being quite good. I'm going to put a Frost Nova in Otis's deck. <laughs> um, let's see, let's just make sure this, uh, yeah, this guy dies. And then... Otis's Frost Nova will kill him, so let's just go after... Oh, I should have done this in the other order. But uh, that works out. He's not going to play the Librarian since, like, you know, it's getting back to his turn. Um... Hmm. I think uh, now... I think looking at it, I'm not going to play the Frost Noven since he drew his other stuff. Um, but we should be able to end it with that. Yeah. So, decided to go with the healing on Otis, but it uh, all works out. Okay, well, I, another Howl is actually very good for us. Um, we want skills and we want Howls because we, we really want to find a Howl on turn one if we can. Because um, then it lets Wilver go before most of the enemies after um, the the howl goes. So, and it just uh, really helps out the the fight. Um, I don't think we need any of those. I'm not gonna take a zap. It's fine, but I don't think it's needed. Um, Shifting scrolls one that I think I'll take on Wilver. We want uh, a lot of books in our um, hands later in the run, and uh, I think it's a decent one to have. Um, okay, so we'll make it rain to scare the imp. It's a nice event. You get some experience and uh, some decent stuff here in this shop. Um, Opal Ring is uh, actually very good on a lot of our characters, increasing Frost and Blunt and Shadow, which we aren't dealing much Shadow, but the Frost and Blunt is uh, good um, for basically all of our damage dealers. But we're going to give it to Zek just because uh, he wants the armor the most. Um, None of this other stuff is super interesting, so I'm just going to take gold on all of those. Um, and then let's come down this way. This is interesting. I think... I think we can do this. Um, sads are obviously bad, but... Uh, <laughs> and it, it could come back to bite us, but I'm like more willing to take risks. Um, early on in a run. Ooh, her getting shackled there is actually really annoying. Um, I'm more willing to take risks early in a run because uh, we can always just uh, um, start a new one if it goes awry. Um, okay, well, I think in this case, I want to kill this hatchling the most. I'm going to save the shatter here. Well, hmm. It's going to take a while to get through all these sads. Maybe it's just worth doing this right now. Yeah, let's do it. I don't love that, but I think it's probably what I'm supposed to do. 
Would have been nice to have other stuff before that, but... Okay. I'm gonna give this to Wilbur, because he is just taking damage. A ton of it. Um, I think I'm playing these, but I'm not sure that I should have. Um, okay. And... Okay. Oh, we started with a standard bearer, which is nice. Um, we're still just very slow, <laughs> even with the uh, even with the howl. Okay, he's adding more wet to them, which is <laughs> good for our cause. Okay, let's get the... We, we need to get rid of that, just so this turn we can um, heal up uh, Zek a little bit more. It'll also make the regen heal him a little bit more um, all around. I think very necessary to get rid of. Okay. Um, let's see if we can kill this, uh, this corny before they go. It seems worthwhile. And then I'm going to give one of these to each of uh, Wilbur and uh, Zek. Okay, so we have some extra stuff here. I'm trying to decide... Well, if it's not better, then we can just not use it. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I think I just want the damage right now. Um... So let's do this, and then I think I need to kill this spider. It's just dealing quite a lot of damage each turn, and so I think getting rid of it will be helpful. Okay. It is getting to the point where our decks are <laughs> a maturity sad. Um, not, not ideal, for sure. Um, mm. okay, let's get some of these out of here. Okay, so I think we're just hitting Bob now. We can go after the squirrel at a later date. Um, and then I guess mirror image is fine. Okay, so... Start over here, and I guess we'll gain a little bit of health back. Get rid of some sads. Okay. So this definitely has made the fight go way longer than it would have otherwise. Um, but it seems like we're pretty safe, and... Um, it, a, a rare equipment shop could be um ooh, <laughs> there we go here you can have a zap Bree <laughs> um, it could have a extremely good effect on the run so um, if we find there are certain items that you can get that are just like increase your damage by a, a ridiculous amount, so. Um. <laughs> Look at us go. We are just... We are just rocking 28 dark right now. <laughs> okay, okay. It's about what I expected to see. <laughs> uh, the fact that the squirrel is getting evasion is also uh, quite annoying. Ooh. The decay isn't cool. Hopefully we can find... Nope. Okay. Well, we got rid of him, and now we're just down to the squirrel. The uh, evasive demon squirrel. Okay. I think... So these all deal the same. Oh, I should be water jetting uh, first, because it increases our damage. <laughs> Okay, Otis. 
What are you gonna draw? Ooh. Okay, him being slow is actually not the worst. We can hopefully, oh well, I guess, uh, you know, what do I have in here? I guess I'm gonna play these, but <laughs> not the best. Ooh, there we go. Um, okay, that could, I think that wins us the fight when he draws, so. We can Icy Veins. And, uh, and there. An interesting, interesting setup there. Okay, we will take a Healing Rain, another one, and then I will take another Intimidate. Um, I don't think we need the Prismatic Field right now. Maybe later. Uh, Magic Tome is quite good. Um... Dream Seer is kind of good. Hmm. Maybe I'll do Magic Tome on Zek. Uh, I think that's cool. Okay, let's jump on this hatch. Hopefully... Okay, two... Two out of four um, succeeded and didn't uh, break their legs. Um, let's just uh, charge at them. Get in there quick. Luckily, Zek didn't break his leg. Um, that is um, for sure unfortunate when it happens, since uh, he is the one uh, tanking and whatnot. I guess I could have given Otis the draw here, um, but... Uh, Actually, you're gonna put a shatter here because I think we can like end this quite quickly if we if we um, if we double shatter. Ooh, the heal uh, makes that a little bit harder. Um, almost there. Would have been nice to kill him. Maybe I should have targeted him. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, let's kill him so he doesn't get a turn. And then we can heal up Zek a little bit. The targeted healing in this uh, setup is definitely subpar. Okay. I guess we don't have the energy to use that, but... <laughs> okay, round two, victory. Not the worst. Um, I will take another rain. That seems fine. And another helping hand. Um. Ooh, a Betty immune to wet. Ooh. If she weren't immune to wet, I think I might take this. I think I might do it. But I think because she's immune to wet, like, I don't think I can do that. It's already going to be a little bit difficult to, to kill her. Um, so, I think avoiding giving her, I guess I only have pommels in here, so maybe I should, <laughs> maybe the change weapon is not, not ideal to cast at the moment, at least for zero energy, zero energy left afterwards, and we are taking a beating... Let's grab this, and then here, I wonder, uh, we'll get rid of the shatter. We'll get back to it, hopefully. 
Um, I'm going to just hit this guy because he takes a ton of damage from it. And maybe we can kill him quickly. Twenty-seven. Okay, well, this will kill him. And I th think I'm going to go after the squirrel after that. Hey, Otis. <laughs> Serve us well, please. Um... Okay. We can have uh, Bree go before Dolly, which will be good for us. Her doing the bite is a little annoying. It's... Oh, I guess... Okay. Let's keep stacking up Mark, and then I think we just boost up Otis's draw. Hopefully he can heal us a little bit more in this fight. Um, I will get a water jet. Okay. Ooh, 25 damage. That's very nice. Um, I will Icicle Barrier there. Or Icicle... Or Ice Barrage. Wait, what is that card called? Let's see. Uh, Ice Barrier. Yeah, okay. I was like mixing up that and Icicle Barrage. It was, uh, it was confusing me. Okay. a standard bearer and I think we'll do I don't know something like this yikes <laughs> double drawing the broken bone always feels so bad um sure Otis you can have a water jet Okay, icy veins, and then just chuck a bunch of these out there. <laughs> we almost got to the... Uh... We almost killed uh, Dolly that turn, but I guess it doesn't. There's no difference between round three and four victory for the performance. So, <laughs> good turn, and a chatter. Okay, nothing there, nothing here. I could take an unstable power. Hmm. It's okay with his uh, level up. He has uh, this one that uh, lets him draw off of it, but. Uh, I'm gonna skip it for now. Okay, and uh, he gets to get us automatically in here, and um, we're going to have Zek drink the potion. Okay, cool. We got a Corrupted Opal Ring, which is nice. And then I think the rest of this is stuff we're just going to ignore. Grab some gold, and 
Uh, Zek can help with the ritual, and then we are going to grab Soul Harvest and um, Unforgiving Nature on the characters that didn't, didn't break their legs. And then we will attack Belfour like normal. Belfour will hopefully die extremely quickly in this fight. <laughs> he is... Uh, he is very vulnerable to cold damage, and uh, we're going to do a lot of that in this. Okay, so let's see if we can grab a rain. Um, sure. Uh, let's give Otis a water jet. <coughs> Why not? Seemed like an okay one. Soul Harvest early is nice for getting the chill going quickly. Um, I'm going to give Wilbur some extra energy here. Um, I think we really just want to end this fight early, so being able to let him do that seems good. Uh, grab a water jet over this zap and then we can do some water jetting into a shatter uh, as, as we said that would go quite quickly um, nothing there I could take a shake it off that's a skill um Man, an upgraded Carnage. Ooh, some runs, that would be very good. Um, I'll take another Frost Nova, and then... I'm just going to take Shards here. Um, okay, we now get our other upgrades, Unwavering Faith and Skillful. Okay, um... I, mean, I guess this is fine for now. Until we find a decent upgrade for him. Um... I feel like the upgraded version of this, the corrupted version of this, should put them in your opening hand or something. I don't know, it'd just be like... This feels so bad, always, even if it's like corrupted. Be kind of cool if we were opening hand. Um, anyway, I'll take another opal ring this time on Wilbur, and uh, I think pass through the rest of this. Okay, so we do have a fight here. Sometimes you don't have a fight at this location, but that's uh, that's fine. Okay, this is a nice start. And then we can put some mark over here on this guy. And we don't have the perk that makes it so mark doesn't lose charges, so he will still go in viz, but. You have a lot of rains. Okay. And sure.
Unfortunately, we couldn't get him fully dead. Well, we can get some blocks, sure. Um, I do find it interesting, like, how just, like, taking the, some, like, the defensive stuff and, like, focusing on some of this, like, his, his resists are, like, pretty decent with the, um, with courage and, uh, insulate. And then if you ever, like, battle shout, then you've got that going for you, too. Nice, unforgiving nature, doing work. Um, yeah, we could find a shatter, that'd be good. Um, let's just uh, get some chill there, and then I'm going to put a shatter in Zex deck. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well. Ooh, almost there. I guess if I had put the Shatter in Otis's deck, maybe I get there? Yeah, I should have thought of that. That would have been that would have been nice, because then uh, uh, Zek could have used his energy on something else, and then Otis, who doesn't have attacks in his deck, could have used the the shatter. So that would have given us a turn two win instead, I think. Uh, okay, we'll take another helping hand. Um, I actually think Infuse Courage could be kind of nice, just for Act once we get to Act three. I think it's like better than Barrier at that point. Um, okay, how many Frost Novas is too many Frost Novas? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say not three. The fourth is probably too many. Maybe three is too many, but <laughs> we'll see. A Zap that is corrupted. You know, it's like probably fine. I just like, uh, I just like don't care. <laughs> just like, eh, you know what? I think we're good. Whoa, he actually succeeded. He's got like two healing. He's got the two or the three healing reins. That's funny. Good job, Otis. Um. You know, that's probably fine. <laughs> Gonna remove some of those later. Um, I'm gonna remove a zap. Oh no, he already we removed a thing from his deck already. Um, I'm gonna remove this drain life. I think I just don't want to spend energy on that very often. It was nice in that one fight, but I found most of the time, unless you have like a bunch of mark or invulnerable on somebody, then it's not not gonna be all that great. Um, um, I just want the really high skill concentration here, and I don't really want to take out a pommel right now, so we are just going to leave it there. No corrupted cooling servos this time. That's okay, though. <laughs> um, oh, I almost just skipped on Zek for some reason. Yeah, we definitely need cooling servos. Um, hmm. I guess just gold chain on Otis is fine. Um, Spyglass is interesting. I think it's a... It's actually just decent to have um, just a random stat or a random buff on the enemies. Uh, the tree just dispels stuff. And so if you can have like some extra sight on the enemy, like two from this, and then you have like an intimidate, and then the sight is there 
when he dispels, then he dispels the site over wet or something like that, which is much better for us. So, in, in the Yelmer fight, that is. Um, Bree lets us use this option uh, to give us some thorns and six whole block. It would be more if we had taken any of the block charges, but, but we did not. Um, okay, let's give Wilbur the draw, I think. And then do a quick punch. Mm. Sure, we'll grab the uh, rain. I'm going to save the shatter. Um... That'll be better later. Um, does look like Wilbur is the lowest health, so getting some evasion and buffer before he taunts him, I think will be uh, overall good for us. Um, and this is a fight where I'm just gonna look to focus down Yager. I don't really... Um, think that spending damage on these guys is going to do much of anything. Okay, well maybe, oh, depending on the state of things, um, it could be Otis getting targeted here, so. Looks like he is going to be higher health, though, I think. Yeah. Maybe I should have given more health to Wilbur, but then, like, Otis just gets hit. It's sort of a weird, weird setup in that way. Bam! Hit this guy who may not die. <laughs> um, I think we can probably, with how much wet we have on him, kill him within the next t two turns, so... Let us see. Um, okay, we have a zap in there, so I guess we can make it so we don't draw that. Um, let's give Otis a Frost Nova. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Um, so I'm going to immediately draw this. So I guess I'll use this one. Sure. Seems good. Okay. So Wilbur gets taunted a bunch of damage his way. Eee. Um, now let's just, uh, ooh, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. And sure, we'll get a bunch of block. I think the, the, the Frost Nova here ends it. So let's, uh, heal up. Wilbur a little bit and end the fight. Let's turn to win. This, the damage from this comp is extremely high. Um, I don't think we need either of those. Uh, we don't need another Ice Lance. Um, don't need this. I would have loved this on Wilbur. I think it's still good on Zek, but I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, we get a corrupted gold ring, huh? Let's skip this. Oh, wait, no, it's not a gold ring. Um, it's a gold chain. Okay, well, I'll just grab a mana potion here then. And then... Um, 
I just take gold? We didn't manage to get any gold or shards from the corruptions in this uh, um, in this run so far, so we are sort of behind there. Okay, so we've got 80% chance on Bree to do this. We'll see if it works. Nice. We didn't hit one of the the enchantment or the other stuff or the um, the pommels, which is very good for us. Um, this is interesting. I mean, I guess we start out with this. This seems fine. Um, I'm going to do the Librarian. Ooh, that's a good one. Corrupted uh, Tome of Intellect is, like, one of the best cards that you can get. It's If you get, like, one of these in your starting deck, oh my gosh, it is insane. Um, oh, this is a very good way to start this, uh, this run. I'm going to save the energy here. And I don't need the Ice Barrier. We want to keep the, the chill on him. And I'll just spread around some shields. Bree doesn't need one. Um, and end the turn there. Oh, this is actually really... Oh, hmm. So, what's going to be better? Everyone having reinforced for their turn where we were hitting into thorns, or and powerful, or an extra draw? I think the powerful is maybe a little bit better. Maybe not. I'm not sure on that one. I think pretty close, but I think that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, we're definitely doing this. Um, we have maybe... We can, yeah, we'll grab a water jet, get rid of the zap, and then I'll put a water jet in Otis's deck. Um, I should have used these reins first. I'm not sure why I didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we can give some insulate out over there, and sure, go up to 21 dark. Okay, so he's slow enough that we sh we definitely should be able to end the fight uh, this turn. Crafted Scroll Intellect is so good. And there we go. <laughs> Ooh, wrong character here. Um, I will definitely take an Icicle Barrage. That's one of the cards we want. Um... I will take a Mana Surge. That's probably fine. Um, do I want a Bluff or a Repetition Training? I think a Bluff. I like Bluff, but maybe Repetition Training is better. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Okay, um... This is interesting. So... I guess the question is, like, who's getting leather boots? Because I'm going to take that, and I think I'm going to take the forest crown. Um, just for the extra speed, like, getting these guys up to going quicker. I think forest crown's going to go on Wilbur. Well, I could take leather boots on Wilbur. Maybe forest crown is just better, because the, the speed is really best on turn one. Hmm... I mean, I guess we can take some defense on Otis there. Um, okay, so... So he's currently... Let's look at... Let's just look at their speeds really quick. Um, so he's at 14 right now. This puts him up at 18. Yeah, that seems fine. Um... I like the extra Howl in the deck. It is good. Um, I do wonder if her, like, Bree going before their whole team is more important. And I think it probably is. But maybe just having the consistency of an extra Howl is better. I don't know. Let's try this. I want to I wanna see how it goes. Okay, and into the blue portal. We're going to get all the cool items in this act, hopefully. Um, okay, so we can't go to the unlucky trainer, unfortunately. That would have been nice, but uh, the path here leads over this way, and you can't go up towards the elven armory, that path. So in this case, we are... Ooh. We do have the white horde. Uh, I It's been a long... Oh, man, this this path is awful. Oh, God. This is so bad. So we have... We're going to be going this way, but there's a Lana. There's a Lana here, and there's the White Horde. Now, I don't remember... Like, White Horde, I remember doing, and I think I definitely think it's possible, but it's, it's going to be annoying, for sure. Um, okay, so we need to keep at least 200 gold. That's, that's the main thing here, is that we can't... We can't spend over that amount. Okay, so... We could buy both of these. Um, which I think I might be doing. Because this is 812. That leaves us with 208 gold. Um, so... Yeah, my thought process here is I want some extra, like, defenses on Zek. And so Breastplate is just the way to go. It just gives a ton of defenses. So I'm just going to do that right now. Um, and then for Wilbur, I think this will make him quite quick overall. And give some extra resist for everything, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Um, we could have bought pets, but uh, I, I like daily, um, especially for this act, because there's a bunch of cold stuff here. But uh, definitely uh, need the 200, and, to the 200 gold to give to the, one of the beggars um, to unlock the cool items. Okay, so into upgrades. We don't have a ton of shards, um, so we're going to have to be pretty conservative with our upgrades. Um, I am going to take out these elemental wards. Um, we really just want a higher spell density in his deck. Um, I'm going to take out an Ice Lance and... Um, maybe an Icicle... 
Actually, I think hmm, maybe one of the Frost Novas. I don't know. Maybe the Frost Novas are fine. Maybe just two Ice Lances. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we're just like way too low on energy, but uh, I'm hoping that we'll be okay. Wilbur can maybe help him out a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually going to swap some of the these over to this version that stays in the deck. Because um, I think those are going to be good. Um, and let's remove some of these barriers. Um, as for Wilbur, let's take a look here. We don't need the zaps anymore. Don't need the mirror image. Um, I think we can remove a water jet, maybe. Um, I do want to add in so book. Book. Um, I do want to add in, where is it? Clear instructions. Yeah, so let's get a clear instructions and upgrade that to stay in the deck. And then let's take out... I guess I could have done this on uh, next act. Oh, maybe I should have. That was a lot of shards. Mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Freeze deck is insane. Okay, I gotta just start taking some of these out. I think... I think I'm just going to take out all the Intimidates and a Helping Hand. And then I I do want a Pummel. Man, we don't have any Cold Snaps either. Hmm. And we had so few shards. Um, I guess I will grab the Pummel. Because her deck sort of doesn't function without it. Um, and then I'll remove another helping hand, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Um, okay, for Otis, let's see. What do we want to do? We don't have enough, enough to upgrade the Anthem of Hope, so I think we're just going to leave that out for now. I don't know if we are even doing anything for Otis. I think his deck is, like, okay, as is. I really love Protect from Evil. I hope we can find one of those eventually. Um, I think I might just, like, upgrade to Spell Magic and Healing Rain is the last things I do. Maybe should upgrade a Frost Nova, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'll upgrade to Dispel Magic, because we don't really have any other way of dispelling stuff. Okay, am I taking anything out of Wilbur's deck? Um, probably I'm swapping this over. Um, I don't know. His deck is probably okay. I, 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 I'm sort of still learning what I like in these decks, so it's going to be a, um, exploration. So to get the cool stash at the armory, you need to give the woman at least a 200 gold. So she tells you about the armory, the secret place, and uh, now we're off to maybe die to Lana. So Lana is uh, is not not good for this comp. Um, so you can see that she gives uh, all of that, which is very bad for us. 
But then on turn two, often she's going to be silencing, which is just atrocious for us. So, um, I think everyone drawing an extra card is going to be better. So let's do that. Um, okay. Are she going to twin scrolls? Otis a Frost Nova so that he can like help out with the clearing this. Um Man, I don't know. And maybe I should have uh changed the upper. I don't know that I want this staying in the deck though. Hmm. I am unsure. Um, I guess I will do this and Okay, well, we'll see what we get here Winter's Night's Tale seems okay Ouch, Otis Um, Zex defenses are very high. Otis is on the other hand are <laughs> not very high. Um Okay. Up to 20 dark. <laughs> okay. These would be much better once he gets his upgrade. Oh, maybe I should have given it to Otis there. I probably should have. He is in a much more frail state than anyone else. Okay. Um... I think I need to do this. Um, oh, I should have started with this. <gasps> oh my god, that's so good. That is the... That is exactly what we needed. Holy crap. We now... Okay, she doesn't have buffer. Oh my god, that was so important. We now get to uh, block her silence turn, which is like... The ender of... Runs. <laughs> For this comp especially, holy crap, that was good. Um, I mean, okay. <laughs> Unforgiving nature with pommel is hilarious. Holy crap, that's so good. I hope I can find some more. That was amazing. Yikes, Otis, this isn't your best hand. I guess I could have done this before I used all my cards. <laughs> um Okay, we are just uh trying to kill her ASAP. Um I guess we'll proc our jar. Oh, oh right, we can go above 25. I totally forgot that I took that talent, but I'm glad I did. Um, okay, we can grab a shatter. Seems good. Um, okay, so this is not nearly enough damage on her, so let's just uh, continue on on that trajectory. Okay, Otis, I'm gonna give you draw. I hope you can do some cool stuff with it. Hmm, I did get rid of all of my chill, unfortunately. 
last turn. I thought about not doing that and then just decided to anyway because it seemed fun to get a bunch of block, but I'm now like regretting it. <laughs> okay, Otis, you go. Uh, let's get rid of that and then I guess this too. Um, I think I just want to, uh, do some healing stuff. Okay, I think there's a chance that she, um, I think there's a chance that she silences again. I'm not sure exactly what the rules are on her silences. Okay. I'll give a mana. <laughs> and then... Okay, close. They're gonna maybe heal her, which is annoying. Okay, they didn't heal her, but man... Giving decay to Otis again was, like, very rude of them. Okay, well, let's, uh, take her out, deal with that problem, and now on to the rest of the problems. Um, I proc at 38, so we're still good, I think. Okay. So much poison. Um. I guess I could have given two um, energy there. Oh well. Um, I guess we're just like doing some of this. <laughs> that one turn, one-shotting the squirrel, really up to uh, Bree's damage numbers. Sure, we'll deal some extra damage. Oh, man. His, uh... His dark resist is... <laughs> is lower now. I guess it's not that low. I think we proc his dark next turn at the start of his turn. Ooh, cold snap. I like that. Um. And then uh, give some energy to Bree. Wow. Good job, Bree. <laughs> um, okay, I will take another Anthem of Hope. I mean, sure, it's already upgraded and stuff. I guess I could, I really just want stuff that applies crack, so I'm not going to take that. Um... Life tap, dark ritual, interesting. I think. I think I want a life tap. Maybe the dark ritual is better. But the life tap gives you energy this turn, which sometimes you do need. Mm, I'm not super interested in that. That's a pretty easy one. It would have been nice to get some shards or something from this. But. Okay, how much energy do I have? Not... I guess... I 
damage. It's pretty decent damage. I'm gonna give Otis some draw here. I feel like that could be helpful. I feel like I also maybe should have just given us some vitality and uh, reinforced, but uh, um, uh, what can you do? All right, I will take a life tap, I think. I couldn't have played the replenishment that turn anyway, so it didn't seem great. And just discard that one, and I am going to use that, but it's kind of sketchy for sure. Um, okay, so get some extra block, and then... How much is this actually going to slow them by? Okay, enough. Yeah, that was that was the correct choice. Um, I guess I didn't need to do that last one. I guess it gave some courage to Bree, but that's not all that important. Okay. The prismatic field is definitely annoying, but... Okay, so it's standard bearer, and then I think let's uh, give some energy there. Ooh, Bree is getting taken down this fight. Ooh, this is a good turn for Otis. Um, I guess we just want to try to... We can do this one. The squirrel is so fast. <laughs> okay. This is working out. I mean, like, I am... Props again um, for this this idea. It is it is just so funny watching like that this that this works and I love it. Um, let's see real quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Seal is a genius. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I guess I should have uh, hit him. Oh, I should have hit him. What was I doing? 
Oh my gosh, I just totally wasn't paying attention. I could have probably killed Saul there. Wee. Not great for me there. Okay, let's just double pummel to get some crack on, and then I guess just bluff, because the, uh, the p or double pommel instead of pummel. Um, okay, so yeah, that he would have died there for sure. Sad day. Um, and this guy has nine mitigate. Look at him go. That's a good evocation. So I'm just gonna stop there. Hopefully we can heal up just a tad here. That would be nice. Okay, Mr. Bruiser. Okay, so we finally get to add some more wet to him. More evocations, wow. Okay, we're getting we're getting the damage in finally. Okay, so we can... I think the one, two of pommel into pommel. Hit him with the hilt and then just punch him a bunch. <laughs> okay. He keeps getting rid of his his uh his wet and chill. It is so rude of him. <laughs> this bruiser is the final boss. He's just he's unstoppable. Man, you just get like evocations every time. What is, what is this card? I know that they uh, increased the chance of getting, um, of like uh, night, like corrupted cards and and that kind of thing from those. So it's pretty cool. Okay, he did not dispel this turn. I repeat, he did not dispel. He's so frail now. <laughs> I took 13. <laughs> that shows you how important the reins are. Ooh, another prayer protection is so good. That is exactly what we want. Um, Squall is interesting. I think it's like, okay. I think it's better than Frost Nova. The fact that it adds wet too is kind of nice, but I think we can maybe go without it. Um, with how much energy clear instructions has been giving us, I don't think we need the life tap, but maybe that was just a lucky, lucky turn. Um, so I don't think that with this team, this Owl Sanctuary and like, we, we don't have any of the gems or anything. So I don't think this does anything for us, but this will, uh, get us some shards and experience. Okay, you prepare for combat as more and more red eyes appear out of nowhere. It has been a long time since I've done this event, so let's see. 
the White Horde, you arrive at an improvised elven camp and stop to rest, but suddenly, or but something doesn't seem right. Suddenly, the temperature drops even more, and from the forest, you see a pair of small red eyes. You, when you realize you are surrounded, you can feel it in your bones. It was a big mistake to stop here. Now, you can only hope to survive. Okay, so we've got rabbits. They're going to make more rabbits. We're going to try to not die to the rabbits. <laughs> It has, I know that they changed this fight a little bit since the last time I've been here, so I guess we'll see. Punch a rabbit. Um... I don't know that I want either of these. Maybe the unstable is fine. I don't know. Throwing out some spells. Um, get some nice chill on everyone, and then give out some energy here. I don't want to die, so I'm gonna get a bunch of block. Ooh. Oh, I guess I could get rid of an evasion. That seemed quite good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have a decent chunk of... Um, I don't think we want to do this. this oh, man. I was hoping to grab a standard bearer, but... I'm not sure if it's... Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. I think getting rid of the evasion makes sense, but... Uh, an ice lance. Um... Okay, let's just keep building up wet on them, and then... Okay, um, I don't think any of them are going to die this turn, so I think we might be okay. I think if we kill them this turn, we'll be good. We do have to kill them, though. Okay, so extra draw is going to be nice. Um, I think we'll just give the extra draw to Wilbur. Um, and then... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this in Otis's deck. 
Um, and now we just need to basically hit all of this uh, evasion off of each of these. Um, I'm going to do this and then this. Pretty sure we can then kill these guys. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, nice. Okay, I just done the fight. Didn't really have any way to heal there, so... Okay, we did it. Got through that. Um... Don't think we need that. Don't think we need that. An upgraded squall, huh? A mana surge that stays in the deck. I'm not sure I need that, but. Hmm. Do I want a squall? Uh, I feel like we're okay without it. Um, we could take a prismatic field. Yeah, let's take this for the boss fight, just in case. Overpower seems okay. We really don't have much energy right now. Hopefully, I mean, Wilbur will be able to eventually start helping with that, but... Hmm... I think the two-cost version of this might be okay. I'm gonna try it out. Let's see, let's see, because a lot of these I. Uh... We unlocked meat. Nice. Um, we can't come down here. Um, but maybe we can use this somewhere else. I'm not, I don't remember if you can. <sighs> I think we can do this. Probably. <laughs> I think we can probably do this. Um, I'm going to do the free upgrade. Um, we have a lot of cards in our decks that we would like to get upgraded. Icicle Barrage, one of them. Um, and, uh, Prayer Protection, probably here. Um, here... I guess there isn't much here. I guess we could do like a scroll or something. For Bree, we can do like a pummel upgrade or a bluff upgrade. Bluff upgrade's pretty good because then it applies crack, which is nice. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just play it safe. We don't we don't have our items yet. I, I don't know. maybe I should have taken that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. If we get, like, really low here, we'll know that we shouldn't have. If it, like, isn't close, then uh, we definitely should have. Um, it is in... So, they... This slime would have gone first before us, but I don't think that really matters all that much. Okay, let's give Wilbur the draw. Um, I'm gonna give a shatter to Bree. Just a uh, a nice uh, card for next turn. Okay. Um, 
gonna go after Colin. Colin has pretty good chill cold resist, but we do need to take him out somehow, so. Um I guess this is better right now. Oh, I, w I actually tried not to cast that. Okay, that's actually okay. That slowed them enough that uh we now get to sort of go before them a little bit, which is nice. Ooh, very happy it didn't take the prayer of protection. That would have been a disaster. Um, sure. Oh no, our shatter! Um, okay. All of this wet is a scary prospect with Colin here. Let's do that. Ooh. Um, well, we need one that's zero cost. What do I have? Oh, I can't see. Um, I guess I'll take the Dark Ritual for next turn. Maybe the Cold Snap would have been better. Ooh, we have so much wet on us. Oh, what a nice guy. He took away all of Zex wet. <laughs> Eesh, man, this is a this is a scary fight. I'm very much glad I didn't take the the option there. I would have died easily. <laughs> um, I think I remove Zex. Nice. Do you think we use this, even though it's kind of scary? Um, and not my favorite, but okay. Anyway, um, hopefully they don't just slap. A oh, this! I'm very glad we took the prismatic field. That is looking like it could be vital for us not just dying here. Okay. Can we slow him enough? Oh, we couldn't get enough chill on him. Um. Oh, well. I mean, I guess just hit him as hard as possible <laughs> and hope we live through this turn. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bree. Okay. 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 Oh, I guess I should have done that first. Okay, Otis, are you gonna die here? Okay, he didn't. He didn't draw a electric vortex. I guess he didn't have one in the deck, which is nice. Um, 
Yikes. So if he is a uh, um, six faster, he's going to go at ten, which would put him in front of Bree, which would be nice to maybe get rid of her stuff. Okay. Oof. Oh no! Oh, Otis, you poor soul. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, that was bad. I probably could have just killed them both if I'd used the other attacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was so close to us just wiping. Um, let's skip that. Ooh, another pummel is so good. I'll take a corrupted icy veins. Sure. Um, okay, the level up is definitely going to help. Scholar is so good, and then Tactician. Okay. Um. It's not much defense from Bree. I wonder what the protection okay that was nice um so let's battle shout and then i guess just do this i think i want otis with extra draw here and then i'm just going to save the energy because that's not going to do much damage there um okay We'll use the shatters later. So these guys can't get... Uh, these guys are immune to chill. So we're mostly just going to be focusing on the boss. Um, uh, there's uh, there's no way we actually kill either of these things, I think. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. We didn't die, so that's a good sign. Um. Okay. Um. Give Otis some extra energy. Man, that was a sad draw there. Um, I guess we'll do it there. Maybe that's wrong. Otis is pretty vulnerable here. Ooh. Okay. I don't think this actually does anything, so I'm just going to save the energy again. At least right now. Okay, Otis. There you go. Ooh, Prismatic Field it seems very good right for us right now. Um. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, no. 
I was hoping to get him slower than us, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Well, oh, I can... Hmm. <laughs> oh man, I could have played that better. Oh, Otis dying there is rough. Man, um, can we still do this? Maybe we can? <laughs> Otis is gonna have two death doors in his deck if we can. <laughs> um... Better, I guess this is probably better. Hmm. Okay, just hit, hit Zach, please. Ah! Okay, Zach. Is, yes, continue hitting Zach. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um. Sure. Okay. That actually was very good for us. Um Oh. This is actually per <laughs> we actually get to target it. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Um, okay, clean fight, <laughs> clean fight, that's what you expect in these, <laughs> in these fights, <laughs> um, do we want a baptism, guys? That what we're doing here um this is like set up for it's like hey you want to one shot something we don't have any of the talents for it but uh um i'm gonna i'm gonna reject that um encyclopedia huh is this any good is it it is a book Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Shadow binding, huh? I, think I might take that. Um, <laughs> poor Otis. Um, we have no shards. I guess we might get some from, from the cash here. Uh, da, 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 da. Nah. Okay, so the beggar woman told us where they kept the best weapons. Okay, so... So let's take a oh that would be bad no we want to we want ice orb on Zek and then 
Um, we're going to take an advanced handbook here on Otis. Oh, wait, no, we can't take this out. We need the paladin gauntlets. Um, yeah, paladin gauntlets here. Um, advanced handbook on um, Wilbur. That seems good, yeah. And then Icebreaker on Bree. Okay, so let's use this to get through safely. And then let's see if we can uh, maybe get through this without somebody dying. <laughs> somebody has died at the beginning of both the previous fights. Um, it's not looking like it's not looking great for... <laughs> uh, sure, we'll discard that. We can see if we can draw another helping hand. That's okay that we didn't. Um... Interesting. I don't know what to do here. I don't think we are slowing them enough to... Um... Okay, what's the one that, like, maybe... Yeah, there's no way. Okay, good thing, I mean, he is, woof. Oh, God, Bree. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. We're not dead. This could kill us. <laughs> okay. Not dead. Oh, not dead. <laughs> um. This run is just insane. I guess I could have changed that around a little bit, but... Um... Okay. Everyone get some blasts. I don't think any of them just get rid of all blocks, so maybe we survive through this? No, <laughs> we hate that. Oh. <laughs> what a terrible hand. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Otis. Oh, and all the rain is gone, or most of it is. Oh, man, it took us so long to find this skillful. Oh gosh, no. Uh, okay, this puts it in your hand. 
That seems good. Uh, minus 22, huh? Um, wow, this is, this is not great. <laughs> no! Our soul harvest, we needed that. Oh, and we don't have to draw anymore either. Um. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, wow. This run was on the edge of the sea. <laughs> we were we were lucky to get this far, I think. Um, I'm going to do one retry and see if we can salvage this fight. I don't know if we can. I'm interested to see, though, um, if there's anything we could have done differently. Um... Yeah, okay. We can. I mean, maybe if we just give draw to Otis, you can have a better start. Or maybe we should have given it to Wilbur? I don't know. Um. Maybe I just put an extra rain in here or something. Maybe we can kill the pendulum spider or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I need to not use the block. No, I think he needs the block. <laughs> um, another test door in here. I guess I can't totally get rid of stuff. Um, Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe this works. Because now we kill the pendulum spider, and I think that helps us quite a lot. Is now going to give them a bunch of bless, which is not good for us. <laughs> and uh, we are okay now. Yeah, we don't have the other stuff in our deck anymore, so this actually seems quite a lot better. Shifting scrolls are not great, but. Put one of those in there. Oof. 
Oh, maybe I do need to upgrade, the, upgrade those shifting scrolls if I can. Eesh. Looks like Otis is dead here still. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's pretty nice having just all your cards reduced by a million or whatever. <laughs> Everything is free. out of the deck. Probably should have just used both of those last turn, because then I wouldn't have drawn them. Oh my god, Wilbur went down to one! <laughs> oh my gosh. He went to one. Okay, so I have been interested to see what you guys think about me uh, retrying like once a run. Um, I don't like retrying a ton, um, but I, I've been thinking about it um, just with how often I put out runs and whatnot. Like, I think it would be helpful for me to uh, then uh, just for the frequency of actually putting out full runs uh, for giving myself the opportunity to do like a retry. Um, I'm not sure. I, like, if I were just playing by myself, I would have just, like, exited there and tried again. Um, but I, let me know what you guys think, if you think I should, uh, um, uh, give myself an extra chance on some of these, if I think that it was just, like, I, I played it incorrectly in the fight. Because I don't think, I, I would never want to do it where I'm retrying, like, multiple times on a fight. Um, but I am interested to see, um, what you guys think of, uh, just like a single retry or something like that on a fight to see if I can change how I fundamentally play it to, to win. So, um, I'll continue on with this run. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'll take an icicle barrage. That seems cool. Um, so... <laughs> Otis is sitting here with three Death Stars in his deck. <laughs> and Bree has one. Oh, no. I think we need this. And let's do one of these. And I guess a Pommel is fine. I'll save the Unforgiving Nature. Maybe we can use it later. Um, okay, so let's, uh, oh, I didn't even think about who I was using that on. Let's do a shifting scroll. Guess we can get a water jet and then just discard a shatter. We can use that later. And then, oh, dark ritual seems good. Um, I think Zek could use the energy. He can maybe give, uh, Otis some energy too. I've got to think about. I'm trying to think about Scholar too for these uh, these attacks and whatnot. But okay, so that was lucky. Um, this is a middle hero, so it could, it's one of the two middle. Um, so it could have been Otis, which would have been like disastrous. Um, luckily, we skipped that, and uh, um. 
Okay, I am going to use this and then we can get it back. Um, I do think I want an ice barrier here, so I am going to um, do that. I could have gotten a little bit more. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. I could have gotten some more block and stuff. Um, the other way, but, or some, not more block, uh, more chill the other way, but I, I think I wanted the block up. Okay, so let's standard bear first, and then we can change weapons. Let's get rid of a pommel, because we don't technically have, ooh, I hate, hate that. Um... I'm gonna save the energy. I kind of wanna. I'm hoping to get a, a turn where I can like unforgiving nature and do a bunch of damage that way. So we'll see if we can accomplish that. Let's give some energy over there just in case, and then actually we'll give two sets over there, and I think just extra chill is gonna be better than the shadow binding right now. Okay, so... I will get rid of the seven vulnerable. That seems kind of sketchy to have. Um... Stole a bunch of auras. So, took a bunch of our vitality and courage. Okay, so let's icicle barrage. And then I'm going to wind scroll a shatter into Zex deck. Oh, I could have... Oh, that was so dumb. I could have uh, twin scrolled a like, cost reduced shatter into his deck. Oh, that was so dumb. I should have uh, at least gotten the first cost reduction. See if we can have like Re is gonna deal a ton of damage if it gets to her turn. I guess I uh, that was some some pretty <laughs> janky ordering there. <laughs> okay. You have some energy. Cross Nova stuff and sure. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Um, Winter Orb seems like a doable thing. Ice Comet is less doable, but <laughs> not sure on that. Um, I could take an Evocation. Oh, another Pommel, huh? <laughs> um, Pain Suppression. I don't know that we need it. Maybe we could use it, though. It is like some targeted healing, which some is sometimes useful. Um, hmm. Do I want an evocation, though? How often am I, like, out of energy? Like, it doesn't seem super common. 
Yeah, I'm gonna skip it. Maybe maybe that's wrong, but I feel like we'll be okay on energy. I don't know, I'm gonna take a pain suppression. That seems okay. Okay, so um I had taken this I had a corrupted version of this in my other run. Um, the corrupted version, I think, is pretty sweet. This one, not as much. Um, so, let's ignore that. I'm going to take a frozen tear, though. I think it's going to be better. The extra frost charge is pretty sweet. Um, Otis, is there anything here you like? I don't think you have any songs in your deck, so... Uh, Maybe the Aquamarine Bracelet? Yeah, let's do that. And then Freezing Ink here. Amazing. And... We'll just take some gold there. Okay, let's go to the Red Portal. And let's get some... Uh... Ooh, we didn't get the little ladder here, um, which is sad. Um, the oh, I guess is that only with Yogger that that happens? Maybe that's it. I've been playing so many Yogger runs that it's just like always there, and I go this route all the time. This bottom one. But it looks like we're going the top route, so we can go into the Black Forge. Uh, let's take a gander here. And then remove all the death doors. Yikes. Uh, that's a lot of death doors. <laughs> we are so poor. Oh my gosh. Okay, Bree's got just infinite pummels. Uh, what does this upgrade to? Oh, an extra hit or targeted? That's not going to be upgraded anytime soon. Um... Uh, I think with the extra energy that she's been getting, I think it's actually fine. Hmm. Okay, I this is such a fun run. Um, I'm excited for this next round. We are insanely poor, though. A winter orb, huh? So who who got the winter orb? Wilbur got it, right? Winter orb, I think, is pretty sweet. Anything that like stays in your deck and you can reduce with your 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 um, scrolls is gonna be great. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be removing stuff out of Wilbur's deck at a pretty high rate. Um, I think. I need to get his deck smaller so that we are getting to his books more often. So... Maybe this is worth taking out. Yeah, let's get that out. Um, I kind of want to upgrade these to start in the opening hand. And then... Um, And then get a Tome of... In so I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to set up Wilbur's deck and see how well it does. Um, okay, so let's get that Tome of Intellect and have that in the starting hand. And then let's upgrade these so they are also in the starting hand. And so that will guarantee us three skill or three books in his starting hand. And then it puts a bunch of books in the deck with uh, the... 
a Tome of Intellect, which will be nice. Um, I think from here... Maybe we're fine with the rest of the stuff. Did I even look in here? I, oh, I guess I did. We weren't going to buy any of that anyway. Um, man. I don't know what I want. Do I want to just remove this water jet? No, I think it's okay. Maybe the Frost Nova? That might be okay, too. I don't... I don't know. Maybe the librarian. I think that's sometimes good, though. I don't know. I don't. Oh, we'll leave his deck as is. That's fine. I don't know. <laughs> um, is there anything I want to take out of here? Maybe the war paint. I guess I could upgrade the war paint. No, let's upgrade Anthem of Hope. And then... And then I think, um... I'm gonna take these clarities out, just cause, uh... I think I want a higher density, and I'm even gonna take out a healing rain, I think. I think I just want a higher density of, like, block, actual block cards on turn one. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll help out with that. Um, would have been nice to get, like, an Icicle Barrage upgraded, but, uh, I'm actually going to remove this last Frost Nova. I think we are set on those, honestly. Okay, well, I mean, that's, uh, I did, I did things there. I don't know if it, worked, it was the correct things, but we did things. I didn't even look at what was coming up, but, uh, we're at full health. I need golden shards desperately. We're going to take this and hope we don't die. I think we'll be okay. Like, uh. Okay. Eesh. Eesh. <laughs> Famous last words walking. I think we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Grab a rain and discard the, this this one maybe, and then we can put another winter orb in our deck. That seems fine. Ooh, that was a lot of damage to take right there. <laughs> I hope I don't regret that. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we can howl and then some of this. 
Bree's doing some good damage. Okay, um, put those in the hands, um, this guy's gonna die, this guy's probably gonna die, but I guess he'll, this'll help. Oh, I guess that didn't actually... best set up. Um, let's give some vitality over there. Um, oh, I didn't swap the cold snap upgrade. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Ooh, I just totally forgot. Okay, let's get this back. Um... So that's gonna kill all of them, leave us with just him, and there we go. Okay, some extra shards and stuff. Uh, sure. Uh, sure not. Zero heal. <laughs> Repeat three times. That's, uh, glorious. Um. Interesting. Is Vampiric Tutor good? Probably is. Right? Probably is. Okay, let's take a look at these just real quick, see if there's any scary things. These look, both look okay. Oh, this is fine. We don't care about being disarmed. Oh, I guess uh, Bree does, but... Maybe I should save that till later when we have uh, more stuff going, but... Uh, sure. Um, I don't... I think I want to take a bunch of damage. Maybe a scroll of speed does something. Okay. Zach is so tanky with the armor and stuff. Like, he gets up there pretty quick. We are not. Otis is like. Definitely not doing a great job of keeping people alive, that's for sure. Um, I mean, I guess we are staying alive, so I guess I should give him a little bit of credit. But, uh... Okay, maybe we can just kill this marauder. I guess we're cold snapping that. Um, okay, let's do that and then give some energy back there along with grabbing some for ourselves. This guy can knock his uh, block off, which is uh, scary for sure. Um, I guess 
we do this. I think that was actually pretty decent for... A pretty decent turn for what it was. Uh, with uh, Bree not being able to attack that turn. Okay, so I can put... I think I'll put a Shatter in Zex deck. And then we can Winter Orb into a Shatter. Okay, Zero Cross Frost Nova seems good. And then let's get some chill on us. Okay. I guess I could have put the Shatter in Otis's deck, and then we could have, like, uh, let uh, Otis heal a little bit, but it worked out as we did it, so... Um, let's just not take any of those. Okay, let's participate in the arena. Maybe we can heal up in the arena. I don't know. Some of these fights are hard, though. This one can be hard. The mosquitoes can do mean, mean things to us. Um... <laughs> oh, I love it so much. It's just so good. Uh, rain. Let's draw. Nice. We actually get another thing that we can reduce, which is good. Ooh. Equivalent exchange is nice, too. We'll hopefully you get to switch that around a little bit later. Um, I'm going to give this to Zek. Three energy for him seems good. Um, maybe Otis can, can do something, too. Yikes! Okay. Oh, we need to get that atonement out of the deck, too. It's so bad. Um, ah, da 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 That was a bunch of damage from Wilbur. <laughs> um, okay. We'll let Otis heal us up a little bit, and... Ooh, this is gonna be... Some good healing, I think. Uh, 
This is correct, and then we can just shatter there. Nice, that was a that was a really good fight. We healed up a bunch, and uh, yeah, got things going. So icicle barrage here, meditate is awesome. Those are not blunt damage. Um, I think we're good on energy, and I don't think we need a squall. Um, okay, so Blazing Brothers. Hmm. I feel like they might get rid of our wet. I don't actually know, but these guys should be okay. I don't, I'm not super worried about, about them. Um, okay, we can change weapons and drop that one. And do one of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay, I'd say that's a fairly effective turn. How much damage does he deal? Um, 259 from playing some books. <laughs> so cool. Okay. This guy has uh, insulate, so let's uh, just start stacking up a little bit of extra chill on him. If we could get anything that uh, increases our the bless we apply, that would be good. I think it works with uh, this um, stuff, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Man, the Unforgiving Nature is like one of the sweetest cards. I just love every time we use it. Um, okay, so we get to get a skill. Oh, this that is very good for us. So now we get to get a shatter, and we get to make it cost nothing, and then we get to just like hand it over to uh, Otis here, in case somehow these guys are not dead yet. Sure. Okay, Otis. And there we go. I just want Otis to feel included. We gotta get his damage numbers up. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Enrage is great. Um, I don't think we need the replenishment. I think we're doing fine there. Ooh, nice in rage. Guess we'll get rid of those. We'd really like to upgrade this uh, war paint too, so it's zero cost. Um, I'll save the energy there. I don't think that's going to do a ton of damage right now, so. 
Okay, let's start here, I suppose. Um, and then let's discard this, because we don't really want the discount on that. Um, we don't want the discount there either. Oh, this is fine, I guess. Good turn one. Um, let's see what we draw here. Um, I think I got. I think I cleanse Zexa Chill, which is probably incorrect there. <laughs> I don't think I should have done that. Um, sure, we put an encyclopedia in. Sure. <laughs> Otis gets another shatter. Got to get those damage numbers up. <laughs> it, well, there's zero chance that he's alive when Otis goes, though. <laughs> because Bree's going to deal. <laughs> and it's, she would have dealt so much damage that turn. With the two pummels. How many pummels is too many? I mean, they'll, they'll, there's got to be a point where it's too many, but... I don't know. <laughs> this is where I go wrong, because I'm like, ooh, pummels. <laughs> I love you. And then I'm at 20 cards, and I'm going to be have to remove those with, with gold. And I'm going to be sad about it. I'm going to get another book thing. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe we don't need to, but... We can be slow. We don't care. Oh, I mean, kind of do, but... Yeesh. Um, man. The 12 uh, thorns on, on everybody at the beginning of the fight is uh, uh, fairly mean. That's not, not, not nice of them. Oh, that's a good, that's a good draw, though. Getting the reinforce this turn so that we can hit this without, like, taking an, an insane amount of damage is, is helpful. Um. Um. Put a one cost shatter in the deck, that seems good. Um Um, hmm. I'm going to do this just so that we have an easier time next turn, even though that was a little sad. Like what I'm seeing in this hand. Um, 
not the most damage. He has his, his reinforce and he has a huge amount of resist there, but. Okay, we can just start off with these. Uh, I guess I should have rained first. Uh, I guess this helps too? Hmm. Um. I guess we'll do this, why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, Zek, can you finish off this fight? Hmm. It does not look like you can find your cold snap, unfortunately. I was hoping he could, but uh, unfortunately not. Um, so, let's just give some energy over... Do these. And then I will just Ice Barrier instead of using the energy. Um. Just keep us safe is the main goal here. Our helping hand, no! Oh, whoops. Nice. Aha. <laughs> uh, Decent chunk of damage. Otis has a lot of wet and spark on him. Uh, it looks like we are ending the fight, so that's cool. Uh, sure. What does this one do? Three spells. Hmm. Ooh, I will take a blood rage. I already have two winter orbs. I don't think I need a third one. I refuse to take a baptism. Ooh, we get Death's Embrace now. This one's cool. And then a double bubble and a transcribe, I think. So damaged by others, do, 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 do. I mean, gotta try it. Okay, let's take care of an injury because we've got a bunch of shitty cards in our decks. <laughs> I should probably get out. I don't want to pay to get out of the decks. Um, Interesting. I am. Um, I'm gonna take out an icicle there, and then I'll take out a barrier here. Here, this deck is insane. I don't even know. I'm gonna take out a. Librarian? Maybe I should have taken out the water jet? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take out a helping hand. I want a higher density of attacks in your deck now. <laughs> <laughs> I have four of these. When did this happen? 
Why didn't you tell? You should have warned me. Okay, well, we gotta get in there, so. Well, everyone is uh, burning. We all got burned extremely badly. Um... Okay, uh, that guy's immune to chill, but hopefully we can murder him anyway. Hmm. <laughs> you can't- don't blame me! <laughs> don't look at me! <laughs> don't look at my shame. Um... Like, sweet, I guess two of these is fine. gonna hit this guy. I guess Mugar can summon the mosquitoes, so maybe we should just be hitting him. But um, not the best opening hand I've ever seen. Um I'm gonna save the unwavering faith. Maybe that's wrong, but I think it makes sense to me. Ow. I think I do want the cold application there, so we can get them slowed down. Damage ramps up quite quickly. <laughs> Guess I should be using the reins first. Let's get the winter orbs since uh, it can actually deal damage to Mugar in an effective way. And then... Don't summon, please. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I could have just doubled the pain suppression and forgot that I had my double bubble. <laughs> It was a uh, not ideal play, I would say. He is so quick. Look at him go. Now we have two mosquitoes to deal with. Give some bless there and then heal everyone up a bit. Yeah. 
Okay. Ooh. Death's embrace, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I... Yeah, I totally forgot that we are now dealing uh, cold damage to ourselves. I will have to remember that. Okay, let's get rid of that one. And then we can... Ah, whatever. If we spend five, and then we can pummel... Yeah, I've got to be careful now that those deal cold damage. I definitely uh, could run into some issues there. Um, I don't think we need any of these. Do I want a Corrupted Recurring Nightmare? When it deals, like, with, with uh, what's it called? With Death's Embrace, it's actually pretty insane. So, I'll try it. Okay, guys, let's see if we can shuffleboard our way into a ton of shards and gold. I think it's this one. Okay, cool. Eesh. I'm always so stressed because it's like such a huge deal if you make it or you don't because... Like, 1,200 shards and gold is an insane amount. We never have the rod. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pause right here and go get some water, um, but I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I am back with some water and ready for this fight. And Zek might not be ready for this fight. <laughs> He is, uh, he's in deep. There's <laughs> just so many pummels. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm. Let's save that. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, good. I'm glad that didn't hit didn't hit Zack there, because I think he could have died there if it had. Um, I think... That's probably the best way to go. Ooh, that's actually quite nice here, because we get to put double bless on him and then do a pain suppression. Um, very nice. Okay, let's get Wilbur going. And he will help everyone else out. OK. 
Okay, let's get a nice shatter in there. Do some of this. Do some of that. Some of that. <laughs> Um, should have put the Shatter in Otis's deck once again, forgetting about that whole Origamaru. Um, I think it's worth it just ending the fight this turn. So, um,. And these are some good cards. I don't know. I don't think anything there. Blizzard is interesting. Maybe we can do a Blizzard. Oh, hi, Zeus. You're a tired pup right now. You just woke up, huh? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can... Here's Zeus. Yeah. You want to say hi to everyone, Zeus? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta take breaks every once in a while to scratch the Zeus. Yeah. His favorite is getting ear scratches. I mean, after, after treats, his favorite is getting ear scratches. <laughs> okay, Zeus, so do you want a treat? You're very excited. Okay. A nice quick break there. Okay, Zeus. Let's hop down. There you go. Okay, let's get this back up here and positioned and whatnot. Okay, what items do I actually want to get? Do, uh, do I want to manage him? I feel like he doesn't need it. Do I want to entrench? It only has one fortify. It's so weird to see. Um... I could get another Blood Rage. Maybe I'll just get another Blood Rage. Gotta, gotta cast those Pummels, right? Ah, uh, what does this do? Oh, he just <laughs> drenched us in, wa in water. Okay. Okay, so Enrage and... I I guess we can howl, because why not? Uh, I'll use one. I guess I could have used the meat first. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> We're just going to have nothing but scrolls of intellect in our deck. <laughs> I will use this just to get the crack out. It'll make uh, Breeze next turn better. Is 
Your cost Blizzard seems pretty good. <laughs> Do I want to use this? How much does this deal? 13. Mm. I guess I can't use that, actually. I probably shouldn't have... Uh, I should have taken something else. Oh, this is a insane starting hand. Holy crap. Oh, this card is so bad. It needs to be out of the deck. Oh, I should have uh I should have anthemed first. Okay. Oh my. I'm used to my tankiest person having a lot more health than that. So <laughs> that definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. Um Um, man, I do not know what to do here. Um, I just... Shatter is just best. And then I can put like just a winter orb in the deck. Okay, so let's start off there and do some of that, some of this. Um, Needs the heal more. Like maybe Bree? I'm not actually sure. Oh, I shouldn't have given the buffer. sense and then let's just dark ritual Wilbur maybe okay man he would have been good to have some mitigate on right there <laughs> Cool, unforgiving nature is on the bottom of the deck. I guess I could draw it. <sighs> could have been better, but... Get this out there, and then... Um... Guess that's okay.
Okay. 45 damage! Yikes. Okay, so we did allow ourselves a little bit of healing there with the vitality, which is nice. Otis is the main one who's still hurt. This guy got rid of all of his uh, stuff. Did he... Oh. That is a lot of damage. I don't think we want another Vampire Tutor. Um... I might do a Citadel just because th this one actually seems quite good. That seems pretty nice. Um, Wilbur has had no mana issues, or well, most of the time he hasn't. Uh, I'll try it. Maybe it's okay. Um. None of this is great. I, the bronze gear is definitely will, something we'll take. I think the rest of the stuff is not that interesting. I guess I can take a, a proficient on Otis. That gives him some draw, extra draw sometimes. Um, I could take the wall on somebody, but... I think I just want the bronze gear, and then hopefully I'll find a better um, defensive card for Bree after after this all hap go. We get through this. Um, I am gonna remove a card so we can get those burns out of the deck. I think this is gonna be fine. That was, uh, 250 damage turn one. That was kind of cool. <laughs> if she'd had, uh, uh, like a Blood Rage in hand, she would have been able to just end his, end him. Um, okay. So, let's... Let's grab a Shatter. And then... Grab a Rain... I think I just want to cast these three, so I think I'm good with that, and then, yeah. Ooh, we started with Death's Embrace. That seems cool. Phil over here, thinking he is the, the master of what? <laughs> That's a... That's a dice. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Um, I forgot about the proficient immediately after obtaining it. Yikes! Zach took a bunch of damage there. You know, I think they're gonna die, but just in case we can do this.
like uh, quite the hand you got here, Otis. Okay, he's finally getting into the groove of, of healing. <laughs> Da, da, da. What am I doing here? You know what? This seems good. We'll let the rock man go. We're still in excellent performance. And uh, we had a pretty easy time of this whole fight. Um... Just do the base one, and then we can hit him twice. I'll take another prayer protection. The repetition training. Okay, getting those out before the boss fight seems quite nice. Ooh. Rare equipment shop seems pretty cool. <sighs> what a hand. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought that was a bluff. Oh, okay, well. Not a problem. Okay, let's get rid of this. And then, I guess we'll do this to get this reduced. And then, we'll put one of these in Nez's deck. Oh, I guess... Sure, we'll just we'll get rid of a nice barrage. That's fine. Bree is bringing the damage here. Oh, 13. What? I feel like that was more than 13 that she just dealt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It now says 14. It's not counting her enchantment damage. That's kind of sad. That's a fair chunk of damage. Um, oh, I did that in the wrong order. Whoops. Oh. This is quite the turn here. I'm just like still surprised at how 
<laughs> Zach's just like standing up here. He's just there. It's fine. No worries. Otis is a very good character. <laughs> and I guess Zach, Zach is doing uh, doing a pretty a pretty good job at just standing up there without any issue. Uh, ooh, bluff. We love it. Uh, I don't think we need any of this. Um, and do I want an evocation? I feel like he has enough energy from other sources. But I guess, I don't know, there's there's turns where it hasn't been that way. Ooh. Sure. Some three extra frost damage. Don't mind if I do. Um, Otis, I don't know if this actually increases less charges, but we'll see. I can never remember, because... Yeah, I guess it does. Looks like it does. Um, and We've seen so many... Cor we, this is the third corrupted weapon pouch we've seen <laughs> in this run. It just keeps coming back. It just keeps coming back to haunt us. Uh, okay, let's see. So this is zero. We can... Ooh, we get to repetition training a sweet bluff and then kill the little spire before it goes. It would have been nice to play the citadel there, but we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Um... I guess I could have played this Winter Orb if I had uh, done that a little bit differently, but I wanted to get that for sure, so I wanted to um, uh, for sure get the other books into my deck, so... Well, I'll use this on an Icicle, why not? Okay, this is gonna be a a good start to the fight. Okay, let's do uh, the mitigate on Zek. That seems good. Okay, so we did manage to slow him quite a lot. Um, I think if we draw super well, we could perhaps kill him this turn, but uh, I think we would require some some good draws. This would have been really nice to have as a targeted pummel, but we haven't gotten any upgraded pummels. We've just gotten the, the non-upgraded ones. Um, okay, well, I'll just amp this once. And this one seems good. Okay, he has taken a lot of damage. Let's just keep upping that bless. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I guess the the sick cold team should do fairly well against the uh, the fire boss, but it is funny seeing it. Um. Okay, do I want a blizzard in this deck? I th think I might. I don't know. Uh, do I? I don't know. It's probably better than some of this other stuff. Like, I could take out these two and just have, like, a blizzard in there. Seems good. Mm, do I want a demoralizing chart? It is upgraded. This is, like, pretty sweet. Just, like, as is. I think it'll help in Act 3 or Act 4. Just some of the fights there, I think could it could be fairly useful. Okay, um... So nothing here. I will take a seashell amulet here on Otis. Um, nothing there. And nothing here, I don't think. Okay, so... What does the Sacred Forge do? I feel like there's an item that you get here that I can't remember. Uh, Otis? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um... Yeah. It seems like it could be helpful. It's not always going to proc, just because uh, if you're at full health, it doesn't actually heal, I think. But uh, it'll help uh, getting people who are low uh, back down. Um, okay. So, man. Ooh. Um, man, this ride is, like, pretty quick. We're at three hours. Um three hours and 20 minutes uh and uh, a lot of my runs take five so we'll see if i can get through this final uh act uh act four which is a slight, i think usually a little bit longer um i think in the past i've taken like an hour on some of the boss fights but i think this will be quicker um okay so we're definitely buying an Anthem of Hope. And that is for sure. Um, I want to buy a... Where is it? Oh, everything gets all messed up. I want to buy a Mass Dispel. I think that's needed. Um, and I think... Let's see. Let's switch this over. Um, I'm going to take these healing reins out. And this barrier. And then I might take out some infused courages. Maybe those are fine, though. If we're, like, drawing extra cards, maybe it's okay. Okay, so from this deck, let's uh, swap this Winter Orb over to this version, I think. And then I'm going to take out the Water Jet and the Frost Nova and the Icicle Barrage. Um... And then I'm going to take out one of these Shifting Scrolls, I think. Um, and then upgrade this other Tome of Intellect. Because then, then we have the two Tomes and, like, one Shifting Scroll. So hopefully we... Because then we just have, like, a... 
I don't know, maybe the two shifting scrolls let us find, like, the Winter Orb or a Blizzard on turn one, which would be nice. Um, this deck is such a mess. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I think I gotta take out some Pommels or something. Uh, da 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 da. Um. Oh, I was gonna upgrade this war paint to the one cost version. Maybe that's not needed, but I think it's fine. Um. So change weapon. It's interesting. I don't actually mind this. We have enough uh, things in our deck that it basically is... I mean, it's going to be free. We, we also should have battle. We haven't found any battle shouts yet, which is unfortunate because battle shout is very good on Bree. Wherever that is. I'm going to get another repetition training. Oh, I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Our battle plan, not battle shout. We have a battle shout. But battle plan. Um, ooh, that is a that is a pricey upgrade. I think we'll be doing it though. It's very good. Um, yeah, let's remove these pummels. I think we are past that point. Um, Oh, I should have swapped this over a while ago. Mm. Man, this is a... This is... I... I was like so starved of resources before this this act that now I'm like, oh my gosh, we have so many. <laughs> what do I do? Um, I mean, this makes his opening hand Tome of Intellect, Tome of Intellect, Shifting Scroll, Shifting Scroll, <laughs> and then two other cards. Um, I kind of want to ditch a Shifting Scroll, but... Yeah, I'm going to... I, that could be wrong, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm also going to ditch a rain um, just because I want to more consistently find this stuff if we're looking. Um, I think the shatters are still okay. I guess I could like swap the mana surge to be to stay in the deck. Do I want it to stay in the deck? Um, it might be fine. Let's let's try it. Still, sort of just learning about what I want in here, so I'm not I'm not convinced on any of this really. Um, <laughs> Bree has twenty-seven cards in deck. That's absurd. That is 100% absurd. Let's, let's swap this cold snap over. Um, yeesh. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, I wanted to upgrade these dark rituals to... Man, I gotta, like, count up how much. Oh, and let's swap this over to this version and... I need to, like, look and count how much energy I actually have and uh, how much I want to spend on what. Because, like, there's a lot I have thought about wanting to do. Um, Wilbur's deck might be too large. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. 
the shatters get out of there, and then we're just left with these ones. But maybe it's an extra winter orb too many. I don't know. Maybe at the end of the, I, I, we'll we'll leave it. I, it's probably okay. Um, I probably want a cold snap though. The card's pretty good. Okay, I think we do need to upgrade this battle plan. It's just so good when we get upgraded. And I'm going to upgrade a bluff, too. What all is in here? My god. <laughs> um, I think I need to upgrade these repetition trainings, too. I don't know. Um... I don't know. Maybe that was bad. The helping hands are actually decent, but... Mm. Um... I might take out the Piercing Howl. Twenty-five cards is so many. <laughs> this deck is unwieldy. <laughs> it's funny. I looked at uh, looking at um, <laughs> looking um, at seals decks. It's like they're all very like fifteen cards. They're very like this is the best stuff. And I'm just I just like I have no control. I have no control, especially if I. If it's a if it's a run that like I haven't done before and I'm sort of learning, then I just will go wild with what I will keep in the decks. Um, I think I might get rid of these rains. I don't know. Maybe they're fine, but I feel like I feel like Wilbur's applying a ton of wet, so I kind of just want. Zach to be applying a bunch of chill to them, like maxing chill as soon as possible. And I think he does that better without the wets. There are those in the deck. But, uh, could be wrong there. I don't know. So these are 420 if I wanted to upgrade both of those. I'd like to this be 630. Does Otis have stuff that needs to be upgraded? Oh, crap. We were going to do... E. Okay. Well, we're getting a mass to spell, and that's that's going to be it. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I want to save the rest of the gold um, for the shop. And then we'll try to clear out the decks once we get to the end of the run when we get to one of those things there. But let's 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 go. Oh, it's Alana. So I think I'm just coming down this bottom path. I don't know. Is there anything awful here? Let's take a look. Nothing that's like insanely scary, but We'll see. Man, look at Wilbur go. He's so quick. Man, this already looks like way better than past starts. <laughs> already, I'm like, oh, there are actual good cards in this hand. Let's get a free bluff. That seems pretty sweet. And then we can do a battle plan and put a citadel back on top along with an unforgiving... Well, actually... No, let's just put the unforgiving nature back on top. 
And then let's demoralizing shout and blood rage and then I think we'll end there because if we can give Bree enough energy next turn then we can um, do some cool stuff. Okay, so let's uh, do this first since we want the clear instructions to be reduced so we can start off with these ones. And then... I mean, I guess we can just do this. Um... Interesting. Um, yeah, that seems good. Um, hmm. I d if I get the blizzard back, it's going to cost more, right? Because it's only zero until discarded, and so it is actually five cost in the discard. Um... So I could just, like, Desembrace Recurring Nightmare or something. Maybe I should Frost Nova... No, let's just do this. This seems fine. Uh, okay. Um... What am I... Am I doing this? Probably not. So, I think in that case, then let's just do one of these and two of these. Um, I think that guy's gonna die anyway, so let's just Citadel and play it safe. Uh, that is an impressive amount. Oh, I for I once again it's still in the deck. Why? Atonement. Oh, it is already atoned for his sins. <laughs> well, I keep giving him buffer for no reason. Transcribe. Oh. That was incorrect. I could have done this so much better. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm a big old dummy. Um, so what I should have done is um, basically cost redu reduce this twice. And then I could have put extra copies in the deck. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's like... 
Yeah, I guess we don't need two uh, cost reductions on it. Oh yeah, I guess it is, they're just they're they're done. They're done though. <laughs> It didn't even matter. He deals so much damage. Um, I don't even think we need a flash freeze. I will take another enrage though. That's good. I just don't. Yeah, I don't even think we need it. And I don't think we need any of that either. Okay. Uh, this is a good one. Okay. Okay, decisions are need to be made. Who is Mirror of Cassandra best on? Um, I... <sighs> I think it might be Bree. So the fact that uh, it le it allows us to replay Unforgiving Nature, which Unforgiving Nature seems like the best car. It deals so much damage. The fact that it lets her do that, it lets her double Citadel maybe sometimes. Like, it would be insane on Wilbur, too. Like, I mean, Wilbur's just going to, like... Like, you can just double Blizzard or double Shatter every turn or double Winter Orb. It would be very good there, too. It would be very good on Zek. But I, I, Zek can't take it. But, uh... Um... I think it's Bree. The only question is, it does... So, it would take her from starting... It, she, she'd start at 18 instead of 22 speed. Um... I think that's gonna be worth it... Yeah, I think that just sounds so fun that I'm going to I'm going to do it. Immune to cold doesn't seem very fun for us. All right, look at Wilbur go. He's just quicker than Bree. Okay, let's use that. Um, let's shifting scroll. Let's find our blizzard. Dump the shatter. And then we can do some scrolls. We've got our two scholar charges, so we can now... I think just put it in our own deck. Um, Zek has other stuff he's going to be doing, so... Uh, oh wait, oh, gotta remember. Okay, we have we have our extra thing each turn, so I think I'm gonna battle plan twice. That seems good. Okay, let's put those two back, and then now we can use the meat and the change weapons and the howls. And then I guess I'll bluff twice. And then we'll battle plan. Let's put these on top. Oh wait, what order did I do that in? Ooh. Okay, I did it in the right order. Nice. Um, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to wait. And we can double Citadel next turn. Um, that should make us... Uh, feel pretty safe um and i suppose i'll just get some block and end it there Um, that's 17. Oh, I guess I should have... Well, I guess, no, I didn't have the energy to do all of it. Oh. 
Okay. Manage M, nice. Okay. Um, sure, let's get a pummel, and then we can demoralizing shout and pummel away. Okay, so, oh, I guess we can do this stuff, that's fine. Otis is quite the healer now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, Dust and Brace, Soul Harvest, and uh, why not, Blizzard? These decks are so fun to play. Um, reveal seven. That is a ton. Okay. Uh, I think we were doing the... Yeah, let's do the Citadel. Um, and hope for the best. Oh, 2% off. Oh, we only had a 60% chance. Eh. <laughs> oh, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> we just gotta find a new Citadel, guys. We just gotta find a new Citadel. Oh. Mm. Oh. Maybe that's fine. Let's do some bluffing. Okay. Let's put these back. And do a demoralizing shout. So uh, quite a lot of damage mitigation for their whole team to deal 50% for a turn at least. Um okay. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just do this, yeah. Seems fine. And then end with an ice barrier. Now. Okay, he didn't do his annoying thing, I think, right? Wait, did he? Oh, he did. He used deep puff. I hate deep puff. That is the worst. 
But I think we are not getting through another turn, so I think we're fine to just like go all out here. Otis, you can have a shatter. Go wild. <laughs> I guess we can see if we get anything good here. Oh, sure, a dark ritual seems fine. And give it over there. Aw. My gosh. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> um. Well, it isn't uh, what I asked for, but I'll take it in rage. Um, hmm. Are there any other? Are there any options here for Zach or Bree? I don't actually remember. I know there's not for Wilbur. Well, maybe. No, there's not any for Wilbur or Otis. Um. We'll skip that. I'll just use this to take some cards out and get rid of this curse that I had <laughs> that I added to the deck. Oh no. Our poor Citadel. Um Uh, maybe both the shatters are still fine. Well, this seems fine. Pain suppression could maybe go, but I don't know. We never got these dark rituals upgraded. Um... Sure, we'll take out an icicle. Um, minus four cold damage. That's probably easy to do, but like I, it does reduce breeze damage a lot. And I think, um, with the current setup that I'm like, uh, Okay, so I can't play both, or I can't play all three of these, so I guess I'll just do the Tome. And then... They aren't going to do that much, like, elemental damage, so I don't think the Knight is, like... I'm super worried about the Knight. Um... Okay, well, let's double Enrage. That seems good. Uh, this seems like a good turn. I think I just uh, pummel one last time. <laughs> um, sure, and even howl. How much damage was that? <laughs> That's so sick. You know, it's probably fine. <laughs> I probably could have optimized that turn a little bit, but, like, you know what? Who needs it? Okay. So, we are going to get silenced. Um, I 
actually a little worried about Wilbur here. Okay, okay. So he can use this and use this. And then use one of these. Oh, this is like a targeted thing? Sure, you can be invisible. Okay, so let's just give Bree a bunch of a draw and uh, energy so that she can get through all this silence, because none of the rest of our team can. <laughs> oh. I forgot about it already. I'm sorry. <laughs> there. Okay, um... Let's just uh, load this one up. Nice. <laughs> Meteor shower? I don't think so. My last run uh, was an amazing meteor shower run, but uh, not this one. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I should have taken battle. No, nah, I think I think a rage is probably better. Um... Don't think we need a guardian angel, but. Um, let's rest and recover, but, yeah, that seems good. Um, oh, I am a little bit worried about Zek in this fight. It could go very wrong. Let's get... A rain, I suppose, and I guess blizzards might be a little bit better. Okay, nice. We got a howl. Oh, well, uh... Let's start with Stampede, I guess. Whoa. Those are some cards. Okay. Guess we can leave a stampede in there. <laughs> um. I guess, uh some energy and then yeah I'll just I'll leave it there okay so unwavering faith let's start with that
It's kind of nice when you're applying the the vitality that it keeps like making you less than full uh, health, and so you then get to um, uh, continually heal them, which is pretty sweet. So we're just like up at max like 30 bless on everyone. <laughs> Look at that tank. Look at him go. <laughs> he was built for this. Um. I think we'll just leave that there. <laughs> oh, so fun. Okay, and we'll, we have one of those for next turn. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Was a <laughs> that was a turn. Uh, I don't think I can use any of this because it all just hits him for too much. <laughs> we flew a little close to the sun there. Double meet him. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, now he goes first. Dang it. Uh, I can stampede again. And then let's put this and this back. Sure. Um, I can use the meat on myself. Sick doesn't die here, but I think Otis can probably heal him back up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should be able to kill him this round without a ton of trouble. Ooh, cold snap. That is a good one. Do this one. 
So this one. Then we can cold snap those two. Uh. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. Um, I guess a vampire tutor here can't hurt. Maybe it. <laughs> I guess it always hurts, but. <laughs> Nice, so we get to get our level up. So we now have Vampirism, which is awesome. Bunch of damage done, bunch of healing done. You can tank up like a boss. Dome of Light is insane. This is such a good ability. Um, Energizer seems pretty bonkers with what we're doing there. I don't think uh, not getting block is a good idea. I'll just take some... <gasps> the Mountain King! He, long hell, shall he reign, Otis, the Mountain King. That's definitely better than Chalice. Um, it's the best item on Otis, I think. It is so good. Um, okay, we also have uh, some Destroyer Gauntlets. Too bad, this is Icebreaker's too cool. Um, okay, the one, the one, the one, the one. I think we take this on Wilbur, probably. So do we take anything on? Well, I guess I could. Hmm. No, because I don't really, <laughs> don't really want Otis being the front line. On turn one. That seems pretty sketchy. So <laughs> I know that doesn't seem great. Um. Um, <sighs> how much does the speed matter for Bree? <laughs> I just still have these leather boots. It's so funny. I think the speed is pretty good. I don't know. Is it worth 10% resist? Probably not. I think I'll just take the resist. Maybe that's wrong, but I I don't know. I I think I undervalue speed quite a lot, so take that as you will. Um We don't have the stuff for the runes to get the extra initial energy, so let's uh, let's go this top way. I think that works out okay. Um, our decks are very large, but mm, I maybe could have done that. I probably it probably would have been fine, but. I was a little worried about it, so I decided to just go with a safe route. Okay, so this is a this is one where this is actually a good play here. Let's see what we actually want to to get. Guess we'll get a rain and drop this orb, and then we can use this and this. Okay. Hopefully these guys don't do too much. Ow. Okay. Well.
Whew. That damage done to heal is pretty bonkers. That's pretty cool. Okay, it is. Heal yourself back up here. Oh, unwavering faith. That is... This just card haunts me. Oh. Uh... Oh, it was the bomb. Wow, that almost killed him. Um... I think having Bree go quicker, I think is going to be better. Okay, what do we want to double here? Um, we could double the stamp. I don't think that doubling the stampede is worth it. Maybe just like double the battle plan. Uh, I mean, that seems fine. <laughs> oh, I guess I lost a discount on Demoralizing Shout. That was a small error there. I'm going to just, like, deal as much damage as I can this turn. <laughs> oh, my... I, I, how? <laughs> Bree! When did this get into you? You're catching up. You have a bit of catching up to do, but you're doing it. That was insane. Oh my gosh. Can I take another Vampiric Tutor? <laughs> 26 health is a lot. I think I might skip out on that one. Okay, so let's remove some cards. Breeze deck is a work of art. Look at this thing. 28 cards, all gas. <laughs> 28 cards. <laughs> so sick, though. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Um... I don't even I don't even know what to think about this deck. <laughs> um, I could probably remove a Blood Rage. We've got so many Enrages, like that the Blood Rage sort of pales in comparison. Um, I don't even I don't even know. You know what? Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get rid of a Blood Rage. Maybe both Blood Rages. Yeah, I think the more we just draw into damage, the better this will all be. Um, I'm going to remove this Piercing Howl now. And probably this Piercing Howl also. I think we just like want as much damage out of Bree as we can get. Um, I think that leaving the battle shout's worth it. The demoralizing shout seems worth it. The overpower, maybe, I guess. <laughs> um, sure. Seems good. Um... Uh, I think I need to just clear out Zek's deck of some of these, like, non-interesting cards. Let's see. I think maybe the Scroll of Intellect can go. We don't really want him... I never got it upgraded, so... It's probably okay. Once it's upgraded. I'm gonna take out the Shadow Binding. I think we're past needing that super uh, 
all the time. Um, we could take out the icy veins. Um, I think it's okay. Um, we could take out the life tap. I never actually upgraded it, so. Or I never swapped the upgrade, so the one life tap. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have enough energy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think we'll be okay. If we can just, like, stack up some dark, and uh, the later turns of the fights will be fine. We've got a, a evocation to... Which is doing sort of a, same, a similar thing. Um, get to get a Frost Nova. I think they're fine. Yeah, I think they're fine. I don't know. Seems okay. Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh. Oh, it would have haunted me, though. <laughs> I would have had to, like, put it in the thumbnail. It's like... Atonement just sitting there in my deck being useless. Um, this all looks fine, honestly. Pain suppression, I don't know, it's probably okay. Ah, I can't I can't mess with uh, perfection here with Breeze Tech, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's get going. Um, Sure. Let's use the altar as is. Can't upgrade meat, apparently. Um, I think I want to upgrade these two dark rituals, but let's take a look at what else we have. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the mass dispel, I think, is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely what I want to do. Um, now this other stuff can be upgraded, I think. I have all the other upgrades that are a reasonable price. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was an easy decision. And uh, no, we don't. We don't need to risk some weird thing happening and then having hex proof and all that stuff. Ooh, Otis. I need more water. It's just all ice now. Okay. Um. Wait, what do I want to do? I want to grab a uh, winter orb, I guess. Actually, hmm. I'm wondering if, uh, I'm wondering if the uh, Shatter is going to be better here just to help Bree deal damage. Six extra blunt damage? Don't mind if I do. Okay, so... Do I want to... So both of these are one draw, but this is energy this turn... Oh, I could double change weapon. Hmm. That get more that gets more cards out of the deck, and we already have basically max energy, so I think I think this is correct. And then we get two of these. Because then like we our deck is much smaller, and we can just like Um, you always want to um, use your single card draw before you use your battle plans, because, like, uh, you put the, the two on top, and then you have to draw back into those. Um, hmm. This is interesting. So, I would do more damage. I think I'm going to do this, because I, I think it's like, I really want to find... Um, 
Like, I really want to find um, Unforgiving Nature, and so I'm going to try my best to do that. So even though this does reduce our damage once we find Unforgiving Nature, now that we have it, we are just like... We are set for that damage. Um, let's put this one and this one back. Hmm. It was pretty deep down, so I had to use a lot of energy to get to it. So I do wonder. What I want to do here. Who's going? These guys aren't going to deal much physical damage. I don't need to use that. I think I can skip the war paint for now. I guess we'll just do... Uh, this might kill him. Let's just... Yeah, let's just go. That's fine. Okay, good. He didn't use his, like, a silence thing, which would have been annoying. Wibbler's getting kind of beat up, but... It looks like we will be okay. Um, wait, what is this when you damage by- oh, that's fine. Zek can handle taking a bit of damage. I guess this lets me double cast this, so. That seems good. <laughs> um. Oh, I did. I copied the uh, non upgraded one. Oh, well. some punching. <laughs> oh, man. Do I want a blizzard in the deck? Uh, I think we're okay. <gasps> we got our citadel back. Do I want it now? Yeah, I'll take it. It feels like it'll keeps us safe in certain situations. Uh, no, our decks are perfect. Um, okay, well, as much as, as cool as Bree is right now, Zek is uh, literally standing up front and being a boss, so we are... And uh, the damage from uh, Wilbur here. We are going to have a Zek chat with him. Okay. Well, it all comes down to this. Can we can we murder them before they murder us? Um Well, let's find the card we want to reduce first. 
and start reducing it. Ooh, Dark Ritual 4, huh? That's a lot of energy. Um, I am going to Prismatic Field here. I'm a little worried about the, the incoming damage. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just double Standard Bearer. So we get a bunch of draw and then set up for next turn to use all of my all of my cool stuff. Okay, we'll drop one of those and then use some battle plans. That's a citadel. All right, we can just cast that. I guess we will. And let's put back some pummels. Sure. Okay, so... Some extra draw. Let's get a blizzard. Sure. Um, icicles. This one... Okay, that's pretty good. I am just uh, <laughs> hoping to give Bree the time of her life, right? <laughs> this next turn. Um, hopefully we can find a shatter. Nice. So, let's see. So I can... Let's do a bunch of this, and then we can put a shatter into the deck. And then... Oh, all right. Well, now that's fine. Um. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? I guess we'll start off with uh, this one, and then this one, and then one of these, and what else do I have in my deck? A bluff, huh? So, okay, well, let's repetition training a pommel. And then let's repetition training another pommel. And then I guess we can start in on them. I'm trying to think. So, I guess we can. I guess we can do this. To max out the vulnerable. And then... Oh, we drew another fumble! Oh my god, what an insane setup. Oh, Seal, you're a genius. I'm gonna, you need to come up with more of these. This is so good. So that was turn two. Our pets are still alive. <laughs> I love it. Pretty cool. Um. 
Okay, so let's uh I guess we can grab a blizzard. And then reduce the cost of that a bit. Um What uh, do I can I grab? I can grab like a winter orb that costs zero. I guess I'll just like. I guess I'll just use the blizzard. Seems fine. Um, I am gonna skip the martyrdom there. Okay, so. So I think. Hmm. I guess a battle plan. Oh. I guess same as before. This just like gets more cards out of the deck, which uh, which we want to do. Okay, so I think. Yeah, we're gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna be like putting these back. So I'll put those back for now. And then we'll put put these. Back, maybe? Maybe repetition training? No, let's put these back. That seems fine. And then we can stampede, and I guess we can battle shout. It's probably fine. And let's just end the, there. Okay. This is a pretty good start. Okay, I really want to slow him down. Because maybe we can kill him before he goes at that point. Okay. Um... So, let's see. What do I want to transcribe here? Probably just a... Uh, I could transcribe a clear instructions. Maybe that's fine. Um, it's probably okay. I guess we didn't really need the replenishment. Um, I guess I will use this just in case, and then sure we can replenishment and use this winter orb. Okay, so let's uh, use the unforgiving nature, and then we can use this, and then. see. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh. I'm all once again. Um. So I'm going to get a bluff here because then we can bluff and then battle plan and put like this and this back on top, which seems quite good. So, yeah. Wow, we still haven't, oh, it's in, it's our last card, wow. You should have like seven cards for drawing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Soul Harvest. Grab one of these, one of these. Just make sure she doesn't die. I don't think she will, but. Uh... these for full power <laughs> um, the blizzard that I could get that's zero cost I guess one cost okay I guess I probably should have blocked there just in case but No, it would have just made him take damage. Oh, I'm a genius. Mana Surge and extra draw for Bree. She's going to murder the world. Not if uh, Wilbur gets there first. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to just let Bree do it. She's been so sick. Um here Otis Otis can Otis can shatter if it gets to him. <laughs> if it if it gets all the way to Otis, he can he can he can do a shatter. Mm. We'll keep with the bluffs. What a sick run. Um, shout out once again um, to Seal for coming up with the strat. And uh, this is a cool one. It definitely requires um, sort of a lot of um, little, like, tuning and stuff. And, like, sort of getting playing stuff in the right order and whatnot. And uh, <laughs> I unlocked meat. Nice. Um but it was a ton of fun to play. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, similar to how uh, Bree came out on top at the end. Um, I um, gave her a little bit of extra damage on that last uh, turn. But uh, um, my run has Zek uh, a little bit lower down on the damage than um, his. But it's honestly pretty close um, to how it all turned out for, for Seal. And... Uh, yeah, I think this is like a run that is doable for 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 people and uh, definitely like an achievable kind of thing. Um, I think like once you get the the thing I that works really well about it is uh, once you get the initial like in Act Two, you get pick up the the book for Wilbur and the the stuff for Bree. Bree didn't really start from dealing much damage for me until later. But uh, once you pick up the book for Wilbur, you can start ending fights on turn two a lot of the time. Um, and even before that, there are some fights where you can end on, like, really early, just if you get the right draws. Um, and then, yeah, Zek just, like, stands in front and is a, is a chill dude. And <laughs> is able to heal himself to full in, in those last fights, which is, which is kind of cool. 
Um, yeah, we had four deaths. We had some hilarious ones. We had that one where it was... Who was the only one left? Oh, there was a fight where it was like uh, Will... Or was it Zek in Wilbur or something? I can't even remember now. We had some funny deaths, though. <laughs> um, also, I did restart once in this fight or in this run um, earlier on. And I wanted to... Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll probably put out more runs more often if I like allow myself to restart one like in like once per run. I think that's all I'd do is like if I if I just have like a bad fight or if I take a fight poorly, I may uh, allow myself to do a reset um, like once per run and uh, and see how that goes. Um, resetting like a fight multiple times isn't something I, I like to do but if I'm just like fundamentally misunderstanding what I need to do in the fight then um like oh, okay well I needed to block like more of the damage just because I don't under like I'm not sure about the the enemies or something like that um I might start doing that a little bit I don't know let me know what you guys think um and uh yeah I'll be back with more more runs after this so this was awesome shout out to seal um and uh yeah this is a this is a sweep um we can take a quick uh gander over at uh past games here um the mirror was so fun with unforgiving nature like even though like the 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 final fights we weren't even really using like we she was just killing everything but the final boss we did like deal we did use it twice, even though I think they would have died either way. <laughs> but it is so good with the pummels and stuff. Um, we got so many in raid. Like, the nice thing about, like, ending fights early, and one of the things that, like, I honestly am, a l like, is, I think, sad, that, or that I dislike a little bit about across the obelisk, is I wish fight rewards were less tied to the turn you ended the fight. Um, just because, like, it really punishes you and like if you if you're ending fights early you can't it's harder for you to get the good rewards right where like i have four enrages i have um the uh like a corrupted battle plan i have some some other like pretty good cards that i got from ending those fights early right and so if you can't end up doing that then your run sort of stalls out and you sort of you can eke through but it's it's a bit harder so i wish it was like a little bit less tied your your card rewards were a little bit less tied i wish it was just more random so that like hey you can like get some really good card rewards even if you are sort of going slow um i think that's that, that's the biggest change i would i would want to see but uh either way this is a sweet run um the freezing ink is a bonkers item it is like insane and uh yeah wilbur showed it having the the scrolls that you start in your opening hand was like or the books that start in your opening hand was perfect it was so it was a really nice setup um like the the one shifting scroll to get one of your bigger spells to start reducing in cost and then the two tomes so that like on your next turns you're then uh, able to start sharing a bunch of energize and a bunch of draw was was really cool um awesome well this is a cool run and uh i will uh be back with more soon thanks for watching